Anna. I'm back today with another thrift haul. Because that's all I do is go thrifting, apparently. I'll just start with some stuff that I found forever ago that I forgot to mention in a video previously and also some stuff that I had done at a trip forever ago that we just kind of ran through really, really fast. So I didn't really find that much. Um, and then I'll do it for another day where we went to three different Goodwills. I tried so hard to be like, okay, I'm gonna film today while I'm out and just kind of show everything as I'm there in the store, finding everything, but yeah. That didn't work out because as soon as I was like filming one thing before I even left my house, there wasn't enough space on my phone, which is all I have to record with at the moment. Would amount. But so that didn't happen. But I guess it's all good. First, I'm gonna mention my vest. Gotta reach down and grab it. My vest that I absolutely love because I literally almost paid 80 bucks for a North Face vest. Because I wanted a vest so bad. And it was on sale for that 80 bucks at Marshall's and I literally almost talked myself into it. So glad I didn't because I found this one for $4. Did I already mention this in a video? Maybe, possibly, I don't know. But I love it. I've already worn it so many times and I liked it especially because it didn't have a brand on the outside. If it had a brand, like a logo or anything on the outside, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. But it doesn't. It's just like perfect, it's plain. You can't tell what brand it is. <sighs> Makes me happy that I finally found it. It's a nice puffer amount. It's not too puffy. It's not too thin. I'm obsessed with it. It's just plain black. Um, it's by the brand Red Fox, which I think is like a younger kids brand. Or maybe I don't know. Not exactly sure, but I love it. I think I paid four dollars for it, if not two dollars, because I got it on a fifty percent off day. But now I can't remember. Just to mention this coat. Then when I was at the store, I was 159% in love with. And my friend was just like iffy about it, the same friend I was going through thing with. And she was like, you know, I'm not in love with it. And I was like, okay, but I am. Ah. And so I bought it. And now I hate the way it fits me. So I'm angry, but what are you gonna do? It's this really long, like camel-y colored coat. It's a wool coat. It's got this really nice silk lining on the inside. It is so pretty on the inside. It's by the brand American Bazaar. And I, like, just holding it up, I love it. And when it's hanging up on, like, a hanger, I love it. And then I put it on now, and I just think it doesn't really fit me right, which is annoying. And it's got, like, a belt closure all the way around. Um, and I love how it's got, like, this little strappy thing on, like, the arms and everything. Oh man, it's gonna make me itch. I think this is why I fell in love with it really and I couldn't leave it there because it originally had this fur on it, like all the way around the neckline, so it looks more like this. And I think I have it on still on the try, try on part so you can see it, how I bought it, but it came like that and now that I don't like it, I took it off because I think this is really what made me like it so much. Is so that I can add it to like other clothes like this. Pretty. You know what I mean? So I ended up paying I ended up paying $40 for this jacket, which is ridiculous for buying anything from the thrift store, especially a jacket. Which is why I'm even more upset. But now I hate how it looks on me. But it's okay, I have the nice fur, which actually it feels so, so, so nice. I'm convinced that it may possibly be real fur. Not exactly sure. I was trying to like look it up. To see what it would look like like on the bottom and stuff if it was real fur but i just i can't really tell myself but i like it so basically i paid 40 bucks for this fur yay <laughs> good job anna so there's that i might give it to my sister but that's kind of annoying next though and i go like this because i'm in love i'm so obsessed with this jacket that i found the next one it's like probably one of my most favorite thrifted pieces yeah, it's safe to say that. It's safe to say that. This jacket is amazing. And again, I have been looking for a jacket, kind of like this is the suede jacket. I've been looking for one, at least a suede jacket with like fur on the inside. And then I found this one and it far exceeded my expectations of what I could have found. So, I'm just excited. And it it's just this beautiful, like cream color um, suede jacket. And it's like all the way like fur line. I'm sure it's like a faux fur. I absolutely love this jacket. Look at the back. And it's got a hood. Are you serious? It's got a hood too. 
which is all the way fur lined as well and then it's all the way suede on top of the hangers like just coming out and then it's got a little bit of like the fur on the outside of the sleeves it's even got little pockets if i'm showing this well it's even got little pockets right in there which is really really nice i love this jacket so much i've already gotten it dry cleaned but unfortunately I haven't gotten a chance to wear it this season because now it's starting to warm up way too much for me to be wearing a jacket this chunky. Not me. I only paid $10 for this jacket. If I didn't have makeup on, I'd hug it. Okay. I found some non-clothing items that same day that I got the jackets. First, I found this really, really cute, like, um, oh, it still has a tag on it. Tan leather wallet. It's really, really simple. I only paid $2 for this wallet, but get this, it is genuine leather it still has this little attachment on it it's only two dollars really could you hear them honking it's obnoxious people this wallet only two dollars genuine leather very 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 cute um it just opens like this it's in such good condition it's like no one ever even decided to even think about using it and i love wallets like this it's a little thinner than i would have liked but for two dollars genuine leather come on i was gonna leave that there you guys know me by now if you've seen my videos and it still even had like all the paper and stuff in it too you know what I mean like this is awesome two dollars then I got another phone case which is awesome I've just been like crazily collecting um, phone cases <laughs> phone cases whenever I see them at their stores especially if they're still in the box that's awesome so cool so got this one for a dollar it's um a spectrum one for the iphone 5 5s is that what i have oh yeah it is <laughs> it's called a tough case but it's supposed to be like the the otter box um it's like a little smaller version of like the otter box but i got that i got another phone case too it's just this one it's got like a leopard pattern on it and it's got this little symbol which is the Tory Burch symbol but it doesn't say Tory Burch anywhere in it so I'm not really sure if this is like a knockoff Tory Burch one or if it's an actual Tory Burch one but I think it's super cute I only paid two dollars I love it so there we go next I found oh, a shirt that I'm so 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 in love with now but I almost didn't get and I'm so happy I did because it is one of my most favorite things now, seriously. Um, and I keep it in this bag, it's just a sequin top. I'm gonna take it out, but my mom told me this was probably the best way to store it, which I'm glad she did tell me because I just had it hanging up in um, my closet. And if it had gotten messed up, the whole shirt would have just unraveled and it would have been a sad situation. So let me take this puppy out. It is just this like high necked, all the way covered with beading. That is all beading, the design that's on there. It's just all beading. Um, and I love how the clasps and everything on the back, there's a zipper all the way down it. And then it's got like little clasps around the neck. And it's hidden, which I like. It's by the brand Papel Boutique Evening. And it's 100% silk. And then it's all beaded. Like, it's ridiculous how beautiful this shirt is. So crazy. Oh, I just love it so much. And it, see, it still had these um, tags attached to it. So this one has, like, extra beads in it. And then it has this. I love, 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 love this shirt. And it was only $4. I think I looked online and I saw it being resold on like Amazon and stuff for a lot of different prices. I did see someone list one at like $150. So I'm not really sure the exact price of how much it would have really cost, but this shirt is amazing and I love it. My friend said it looked like an old lady, but. So now I'm gonna go into stuff that I found last weekend with my friend when we went to the three different Goodwills. I found so much, so let's just go, let's go. As for non-clothing items, the first thing I found is actually these, just a huge thing of hair ties. Is that gross to get from the Goodwill? I don't know, but there was a ton of them, so I think it was actually donated from a store because my friend got a pack too. There were like tons of them there. It has a price for what they would have sold it at, whatever store they came from, and it has $4.79 listed on here, so these were like almost $5 for this chunky thing, and I paid $2 for it, so. And I always use these because they're always breaking or I'm losing them. Next, I got this really, really cute 
Um, it's just like this gold, it's just like this doubled like gold necklace and it's got a really chunky like clasp on it and I think it's really really cute. And I paid $3 for this, so yay. Um, so I got this really pretty like silkish top, I don't think it's silk, but it's got a really light material, it's going to be great for the summertime, it's just striped with gold. Um, yeah, not much to say about it. I just think it's going to be great, perfect for the summer because it's so lightweight. It's got a little bit of a zipper and a little bit of pleating all the way around the neckline too, which I like. And it's by the brand Essential. And I got this top for $4. Next, got another J. Crew button up. Obsessed with the J. Crew. It'll never stop. And it's just this really cute button up. Um, it's pink and all striped -y. It's just a plain button up, really. It's got J. Crew like etched in there, which I think is kind of cool. Instead of just on the tag, it's got it etched. Uh, but I like it because, again, like the other shirt, for the summertime, it should be great because it's really, really, really thin. And again, this is $4. I think all shirts are usually like $4. I found this really, really, really cute um, pink shirt. I, it might fit me a little cropped. I didn't even try it on yet. But I love the material of this. I have another crop top in this exact same material. It's like a leotard material. It's really stretchy. See that? But it's like really, really soft at the same time. It's just so nice. It feels so good. And I like it. Um, it's by The Limited. It's literally like wearing a ballet leotard. It's the same color and everything. You know what I mean? That's what I'm getting from this. Um, so I paid $4 for this. And I love it. Where's the top? Found this really cute oversized um, sweater, if I can hold it up the right way. It is so, so, so oversized, but it's so comfy and just so pretty. Um, I love the design on it. It'll show like that. And it's just, it doesn't like have any closing. It's one of those that has like all the extra material just like hanging and it's so nice. And I can't find a tag. It's by Daisy Fuentes. I paid $4 for it. I love it. It's going to be great for when it starts getting cold again or even for running around the house. I really like it for $4. I think it's cute. So now I found a couple more different like plaid shirts, button ups. This one is this really pretty pink and purple like plaid design. I love it. I love it so much. I don't know, just the brightness of it I think is so pretty. Um, and the texture, texture. The material of it is like really nice and soft. I like too how right here on the buttons, it's got like that extra just plain pink. So it's really nice and fun and bright. And it is by Banana Republic. There's that. Like it. And it was $4. Okay, button ups galore. I found two J. Crew button ups. I'm pretty sure they're like the same thing, just a different color. This like purple and blue one. I think these are men's shirts actually, but they're oversized enough without being like overwhelming on me and I think they're really nice. They're really lightweight. They'll be great for in the summer tucked in with like either jeans or shorts. I think it's going to be really nice. So it's J. Crew. It says lightweight shirt on it and it's 100% cotton and I think this one is just so pretty. The color is so pretty. I like The second one of that is the same thing. It's J. Crew. This one has a different tag on it though. It doesn't say the lightweight on it. So I'm not sure if it's the exact same thing, but it's the same exact material. It's just like a red and blue. This one looks really boyish. $4 again for this one. All right, so I got this dress. It's really, really cute. I like how it's got this like leatherish, like faux leather detail on the arms. And then it's just a really cute like skater skirt. And it's in this really pretty maroon color, almost. Oh, it's like the same color as my lipstick. This last week and I still haven't tried it on. Didn't try it on there because we were like trying to rush to the three different ones. So I don't know if this one fits me. But here it is. It's super cute. It's just got like a zipper on the back. And so I'm really hoping it does fit because I like it. By the brand Heart Soul. And this was $5 for this dress. So it's probably not a good idea that I tried or that I didn't try it on when it cost $5. Because I may have wasted $5. And then I'll be mad. Next, another thing that I didn't try on in the store, but I tried it on when I got home and it was just like an ah uh, moment because I didn't think they were going to fit at all, but they did, so I'm good. It's just these um, really cute purple like floral designed shorts. 
And they got a little bit of packages going on even on the back and front. Um, they're by Ann Taylor Loft. And they're actually, they fit a little bit longer on my leg, which I like too, so that, I don't know, sometimes I have like shorts that I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't be wearing these out because they're so short, but. I paid $4 for these shorts. Just going on the theme of the bottoms, I found some more, yes, some more corduroy pants. This one is just um, like that tan color. And these again are by J. Crew because that's all I ever find. And I'm so happy for it. Um, the exact same pants that I've literally found like a million times over in like every color imaginable. But these ones actually fit. I had to get rid of two pairs because they didn't fit. But this one I get to keep. And it's just this really pretty tan. They're long. It's the favorite fit by J. Crew. You probably can't see the tag, but. There it is, girl. But yeah, so I'm glad that these actually fit me. These were only $4. Found a great t-shirt that I plan to, I think, kind of cut up a little bit for the summer. It is just this really awesome printed t-shirt, which I don't know if the design's gonna show well on camera. So it's by Zoo York. I think I'm gonna cut like the sleeves or something off, do something with it. Uh, but I just thought the image on it was really, really cool. And I paid $4 for the shirt. I got this really, really pretty, very sheer, lightweight, great for summer floral top. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Um, it's by the brand Lily Rose. And I like how it kind of cinches in. It's got like a little bit of a cinch in on the bottom so that I can kind of wear it like maybe higher up or lower like on my like waist or whatever. I don't know, I like it. It's got like a little bit of a lace detail on the shoulders and then it kind of clamps cinches around the arms as well. So I thought that was pretty. I paid $4 for this. So great summer top. The Rift stores are one of my favorite places to get belts from belts of all sizes, whether I'm gonna wear it just around my waist or actually on my like waist to hold up my pants. But you know what I mean? Like if I'm gonna keep it around my waist to be like an accent like around dresses or if I'm gonna wear it to like Hold my pants up. So I found two. The first one is just this really pretty blue one. It's got kind of like, I don't know, a reptile-y type texture to it, but it's just blue. It's just got a plain silvered buckle. This is a cool one. I left this the tag thingy on it now, I remember why. It's because it's actually reversible, so you just go like this, like you just pull it up and you twist it, and now you can wear it as a brown belt as well. Isn't that cool? But so, basically I got two belts in one, so I can either wear it as the brown side or just flip it like this and wear it as the blue one. What's funny is I paid a dollar for this because the girl rung it up wrong, so I saved a dollar. It was listed, it had a sticker on it for $2 and she gave it to me for a dollar, so. Yeah. Then another belt is just this brown. It's got another like weird texture to it. I don't know. What kind of belt texture is that? Like it's like an alligator-ish texture. It is by the brand Rolfs, R-O-L-F-F's. -F and I paid a dollar for this one too. Again, it was listed for two, but she gave it to me for a dollar, so. All right, so this was something I was so happy to find because when I kind of reached for it on the, um, the rack, um, I was just really kind of just kind of sorting through everything. And then when I saw the brand, I said, yep, put it in the cart so quick. Um, it is just this like tan, um, like opened, is it like a cardigan-ish sweater? I don't know, but I like how like loose fitting it is. It's You wear it open because it doesn't have any like kind of closure to it. Um, but it's by the brand Theory. So I was really, really happy to find that. It was only $4 and I got this Theory um, sweater. And I think it'll be great for like those colder summer nights, maybe around like the ocean where it's a little bit more breezy. It'll be cute to throw on. I love it and it's I washed it already so I'm just like, oh. I love it. Four dollars for theory. That's crazy. And so, uh, I'm just so excited with this find too. I found two more of those sequin tops at the same location. They were in different spots though, so I was just so glad that I found them. I'm in love 100% with them. And again, I have them sealed up in their little Ziploc baggies so they don't get messed up because I love them. They're my babies. Here's this one. This one isn't high-necked. It's um, just a normal like kind of like shirt styled 
Um, this one is so pretty. Again, it's by the brand Papel Boutique Evening, and it's 100% silk, which is the material under the beading. Oh, the beadwork is so, so pretty. Like, even like around the bottom, I'm hoping this is showing well. And then again, it has the like zipper that goes all the way down the back, which is hidden. You can't even see where it is. Like, it's under this little flap. So it's got like all the way down, but it's definitely hidden, which I really, really like. I like that it doesn't stand out, so it's not taking away from the beading. So, so pretty. And this one again too, which is awesome, still had the tags attached, still came with the extra beads. Oh, it says on here, this garment has been totally handmade. Slight irreg irregularities are not to be regarded as defects. Loss of beads and sequins are a normal occurrence repair kit attached. Um, so that's really nice. It's the evening collection, $4 for the shirt. <sighs> Beautiful. So there's the number two of my beaded tops. And now for number three. This one is so heavy. It is literally so heavy. It is this really pretty red one. It's got a little bit more of a collar, but it's still not the high neck like the first one. Um, oh, it is so heavy, so pretty. Just look at it. Just look at that. So I'm in love with these shirts. My friend thinks they are so grandma looking. She just, that's all she said. She goes, looks like a grandma. I'm like, girl, if you dress this up the right way, it's gonna look so amazing. I'm just so excited for these shirts. And it's all the way through the back and the front. And I like too how it's got a little teeny bit of a peplum, if you can kind of see it, how I'm holding it. How the bottom of this one and the other one I just showed, they kind of flare out a little bit on the bottom. But like, this is just amazing. The beads are literally everywhere. It completely covers the shirt. This one is by a different brand though. It's still 100% silk. Um, it's by the brand Black Tie Oleg Cassini. Should I show this? Should I show it? We'll show it. I don't know if I'm gonna put these on the try, try on segments of them because, spoiler alert, I'm going to do a thrifted lookbook with these three shirts. That's how much I love them. Stay tuned, stay on the lookout for that because I'm really, really excited to style these because I love them so, so, so much. But yeah, just for the sake of protecting the beading and everything, as of right now, I'm trying to try on everything so quickly. Unfortunately, I won't show you in this video what they look like on, but stay tuned for my thrifted lookbook and I will do outfits with all three of these shirts. So yeah, $4 for all of these sequin shirts, or $4 each. Now, I found this really pretty purple like oversized sweater. Really pretty like lavender, um, like oversized sweater. I like how the neckline and the front of it is all like roughly, it just like hangs really loosely around your neck and like in the front. Um, it's got a little bit of like a belted thing in the back. And so the belt is like hanging down all low. And I just like how long like the sleeves are. And it is so soft, like so soft. Um, and it's by the brand Lucky Brand, which my mom is actually in love with, so I might end up giving it to her or my sister, but I really grabbed it because it was Lucky Brand, and my mom is obsessed with Lucky Brand, so. I only paid $4 for this one. It's so pretty, so pretty. Then I found a really cute blazer. It is this like pink and like peachy, just really nice blazer. I love it, I think it is so pretty. There's like the back to show the color. Nothing too fancy about it. It does have a little bit of a pocket in the front. The only tags on here though is it has this little thing that says 100% wool on the inside and professional dry clean on it, of course. Always gotta get stuff dry cleaned. It has a lot of shoulder padding in here, but I don't know, I still enjoy the way it fits, so I think it's nice. And I only paid $6 for this guy. I have been looking for a really, really nice like school girl, school girl, school girl ish like that plaid skirt. But anyway, so I found this really pretty skirt. I finally found one that fit me nicely. It is just this like oversized plaid skirt. It's kind of longer, it's on the longer side. A little bit of a cutout on the bottom. Um, I don't know. I just love it so much. I love the colors of it and like. It just looks so rich, the way it's so oversized and like nicely perfect. It looks a lot more high quality than what it probably is. It's by the brand Chadwick. Ch 
Chadwick's? Yeah, Chadwick's. But so I really, really love this skirt so much. And I paid $4 for this. Kind of save some of like my more exciting pieces towards the end. And also this is all the stuff that I have to get dry cleaned. So next, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I'm obsessed with that velour. What else is it called? I don't know. But here it is. It's this shirt. I really, really like how it's got like the color blocking to it, how the bottom of it is all black, and then the top part is like this really pretty purple, and it's the same on the back. And just from me holding it up, I'm sure you saw the brand. It's by DKNY. Um, I just, I love it because the velour, it's nice and stretchy. I love the color block of it. I just, this is awesome. And I only paid $4 for it. I forever, forever, forever have wished that I could find a really nice like velour type blazer that like looked good on me and didn't look cheesy and wasn't too oversized or too small or just too anything. You know what I mean? So finally found one. Really pretty royal purple and I'm obsessed with it. So it just looks like this it's long sleeved. Um, it's got the two buttons on the front so you can button close it. So real pockets like in the front there, right there. And then here's just the back, it's just the plain purple, beautiful color. I love this color purple. Anything like royally purple, dark purple is so pretty to me. Even though I'm obsessed with lavender too, so I don't know what I'm saying. So this is by Express Design Studio, so Express. This though, I literally only paid $4 for this blazer. Okay. So finally, oh, this long video, I think we're hopefully gonna manage to make it one video. I need another one. It is just this beautiful black wool, like, pea coat, but it's kind of long. It hits me probably on my thighs, maybe. But the thing that is amazing about it is that I found yet another jacket that is by J. Crew. Amazing, and I paid $10 for this jacket. I cannot. I cannot. Like, it's so long, so pretty. So it's got real pockets, little flap there going on. Oh, I love it. Here's just the back. It's just plain. I don't know. The, the inside, too, though, is like this really, really nice, like, silky material. I just think it's so nice. So the jacket is 80% wool, so which is why I gotta get it dry cleaned. But for $10 for a J. Crew jacket, I just, I can't talk about how excited I am about this jacket. So that is everything for this haul from all the different locations and stuff that I forgot to mention a while ago. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can see when I post more videos, I am going to start doing some more lookbooks. And like I said, stay on the lookout for the thrifted lookbook featuring my two sequined tops or beaded tops because I'm obsessed with them so much. If you've shared any of my videos or anything, I see you and I appreciate it. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much for always watching my videos and thank you so much to everyone who has commented at all, but especially to those who have given me any kind of tips or advice, especially for thrifting and taking care of my clothes and mentioning what things are because I'm just not the rightest crayon in the box at times. And if I had space in my phone, I would be filming while I'm at the thrift store and adding it to my Miss My Luck 91 Instagram. So please follow me on that one as well. But so that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I think are the most important tips or like rules to like thrift buy. So I thought I would finally make a video and let all of you guys know my favorite tips for thrifting.